Hello and welcome. This is Kathleen Lovito, and I will be your host for today's webinar on 2021 changes to TRICARE Select. This webinar is presented in partnership with the Defense Health Agency. Our presenter today, Mark Ellis, joins us from DHA. I will introduce him in just a moment, but first, a few words on AFMA. AFMA is the longest standing not-for-profit not association that empowers military families with affordable financial solutions. We accomplish this by being the premier provider of affordable life insurance, expert investment management, customized residential mortgages, and exclusive survivor assistance services, all for the military community, not for profit. As a reminder, this presentation is educational. It's for general information only, as not specific investment, legal, or tax advice for any of you individually. Do not rely on this presentation alone to guide your life insurance decisions. For individual advice, please contact us directly. Now I'm happy to introduce today's presenter. Mark Ellis is Chief Policy and Program Section, Health Plans Design Branch of TRICARE Health Plan at the DHA. He oversees the development and execution of enrollment policies for all TRICARE medical plans. Before coming to the DHA, Mark, uh, Mr. Ellis served for 22 years in the United States Air Force, the last 15 years as a Medical Service Corps officer. During that time, he had functional experience ranging from policy and program implementation at the military medical treatment facility level to managing large-scale projects at the regional level as program manager for regional TRICARE contracts covering over 1 million beneficiaries in four states. We're um, excited to have his expertise today. So without further ado, I will turn it over to Mr. Ellis to begin the presentation. Thank you very much. And on behalf of General um, Fleiss, uh, the Director of the Defense Health Agency, I'd like to thank AFMA for letting us uh, take this time to present this information to our valued military beneficiaries. So without further ado, let me go ahead and get started and to talk about the TRICARE Select changes that are going to take place on January 1st, 2021 for certain military retirees. So today I'm going to talk about the changes and some ideas of what we need you to understand as military beneficiaries of, of what the impact is, uh, open season and the time frames you need to take action, and how we can communicate or planning to communicate with you uh, to let you know how these things are going to take place and that when you need to take action. So first, Congress did direct uh, the Department of Defense and the Health Agency to implement TRICARE Select enrollment fees for all retirees beginning on January 1, 2018. However, for certain military retirees and family members, Congress directed us to delay those implementation of those enrollment fees and other TRICARE health plan changes until January 1, 2021. So again, on January 1, 2021, most Group A retirees and their family members will be required to pay TRICARE Select enrollment fees, annual enrollment fees. Now, Group A beneficiaries are beneficiaries whose military sponsor initially enlisted in or was commissioned in a uniformed service before January 1, 2018. That's about for those that were enrolled in uh, TRICARE Standard Extra before January 1, uh, when we implemented the TRICARE Select uh, program, that was about 1.2 million retirees and family members uh, that we automatically converted from TRICARE Standard coverage into TRICARE Select. And we were able to do that uh, on your behalf because there was no enrollment fees required back in 2018. However, we now have this requirement come on January 2021 to make you aware that the law says that military retirees in Group A uh, and their family members, most of them will need to pay enrollment fees. On the other hand, there is another group of beneficiaries called the Group B. 
In Group B beneficiaries, the sponsor joined the military on or after January 1, 2018, those beneficiaries started paying enrollment fees and had other TRICARE program changes back on January 1. So our focus for today's presentation is on Group A retirees, and that's designated as uh, retirees who uh, initially joined the military, uh, either enlisted or was commissioned in a uniform service before January 1, 2018. There are a couple exceptions that I'm going to cover. So the TRICARE Select is what we're talking about in terms for the Group A retirees, again, effective January 1, 2021. And so the enrollment fee for if beneficiaries in Group A who are currently have TRICARE, TRICARE Select Group A coverage with no enrollment fees, effective on January 2021, the enrollment fee for an individual, one person in the family, uh, in a Group A family, uh, the monthly enrollment fee is $12.50 a month. If two or more individuals in that Group A family uh, wish to be enrolled or remain enrolled in TRICARE Select, it's $25 a month. And so it's two or more. So you could have five people in the, in the family. And again, the enrollment fee would only be $25 a month. Uh, the deductible, which is the amount of money that a beneficiary enrolled in a TRICARE Select plan has to pay out of pocket before TRICARE helps cost share on claims from civilian providers. The deductible of an individual of $150 a year for a calendar year or $300 a year uh, for a family does not change. It remains the same. So the individual deductible remains $150 a year and the family deductible remains at $300. However, for Group A retirees, the family catastrophic cap the family catastrophic cap is the amount of out-of-pocket expenses, including enrollment fees, that a Group A household would pay as part of getting care from civilian providers. When that total amount reaches $3,000 in any calendar year, the catastrophic cap kicks in, and what that means is once you've paid the $3,000, TRICARE pays 100% of the governed and allowed amounts for the rest of the calendar year. The law requires that the CAT cap amount go up, up for most Group A retirees from $3,000 in a calendar year to $3,500 in a calendar year. Now, Congress also directed that we need to annually adjust these fees. So for the for the enrollment fee, as well as the family catastrophic cap, that can be adjusted annually if uh, there is a cost of living uh, raise to military retirees in, in any given year. Not every year do retirees get a cost of living raise. Uh, and so in some years, we may have no increases at all in those rates. And if the COLA is low enough, uh, probably only the enrollment fee will go up or the catastrophic cap would go up, um, but other costs may not. Now, it's important to note that Congress also was concerned, as is the Department of Defense, for certain beneficiary categories uh, that we determine uh, should have some exemption from these increases in cost. So specifically for retirees that are medically retired from the Department of Defense uh, with a medical retirement, and that typically means that the member has been retired with a 30% or higher disability, uh, the law says for medically retired uh, members under 10 United States Code Chapter 61 and their family members there is no TRICARE select enrollment fee for Group A enrollees. Additionally, survivors of deceased active duty members, they too are exempt from 
the enrollment fee, as well as the increase in the catastrophic cap. So to summarize this slide, uh, the TRICARE select changes for the Group A retirees will take place on 1 January 2021. There will be a monthly enrollment fee uh, for individuals or two or four members of the family, and the catastrophic cap will be increased from $3,500 um, from $3, to $3,500. And certain beneficiaries in Group A retirees who've been medically retired from the Department of Defense, their family members, and survivors and members who died on active duty are exempt from these changes. So some key points that we'd like to, uh, you to know. So for group A retirees and family members that must pay uh, an enrollment fee, you must contact the regional contractor to arrange payment of your TRICARE select enrollment fees that are going to be due starting on 1 January, 2021. Uh, we recently had legislation passed by Congress that requires military retirees where feasible to pay their TRICARE enrollment fees via allotment from military retired pay, again, where feasible. We recognize in some situations that may not be possible. So if that is not possible or feasible, you may arrange to make payments on a monthly basis through a, an electronic funds transfer from a banking account, checking or savings, or through a, a electric funds transaction uh, via a debit card or a credit card. It's important to note that the department does not have any flexibility in terms of waiving fees other than those that we're allowed to by law. And so we are not allowed to provide TRICARE coverage unless the, the fee is required by law or paid. So please, 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 uh, when you become aware of the need to make uh, payment arrangements for your TRICARE select coverage, please do contact your regional contractor. Because as of 1 January 2021, we have no but choices to uh, terminate your coverage. And we uh would like you to experience no gap in your tricare select coverage but we need your assistance and compliance to contact the contractor to make payment arrangements if you do get in the circumstance where you didn't get the word or the uh, you delayed in making those arrangements you will be notified of the disenrollment from your tricare select coverage in that disenrollment notification will be information on how to reinstate your coverage within 180 days of uh, the disenrollment. So within 30, by 30 June, 2021. Um, and all you have to do again is contact the contractor and they will uh, assist you in collecting the fee payment information. Reinstatement means that you must pay any back fees back to the 1st of January, 2021. We have no flexibility to allow you to start at a later date. So uh, please, again, uh, try your best to get that done before 1 January, but recognize if, it, if you get in disenrolled, uh, we can allow you to reinstate, but you'll have to pay the back fees. Um, otherwise, if you miss that date, uh, by law, you're only eligible for care at military hospitals on a space available basis. So lots of our military retirees that are currently enrolled in TRICARE Select may not be near a military installation. The other thing is it's on a space available basis, which is often very limited at some of our military clinics and hospitals here uh, in the United States and worldwide. Uh, otherwise, you'd only be eligible to re-enroll in your TRICARE coverage at, whether you had a, a qualifying life event, uh, you moved, you got married, you got divorced, you had a, you had a child, uh, 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 you lost your commercial health insurance from your employer, civilian employer, those sorts of things, or you'd have to wait until the next open season in 2021, starting in November of 2021. Uh, on the slide, there is a link that shows uh, where you can get additional information 
regarding the TRICARE Select Enrollment Fee information. So I mentioned the TRICARE open season. So we are planning to send you a letter uh, sometime in the September, October timeframe to every Group A retiree household notifying you of this information. It has contact information on the, on the letter uh, that, that allows you to tell you which regional contractor to call. We also have the TRICARE open season that begins on the 9th of November and it runs through the 14th of December. Again, usually in a TRICARE open season, we ask you to consider if you're happy with your existing TRICARE coverage and whether or not you wanna make a change starting in the next calendar year. Again, this open season for Group A retirees, it's a little different. We're asking you to can not only consider whether or not you want to make a change to your existing TRICARE select coverage, but even if you don't, we want you to contact the contractor again to make uh, payment arrangements. And again, establish that fee payment where possible through the uh, EFT where feasible. You On the link there, you can see that we have a link to information uh, to the tricare.mil uh, slash open season web page where you can get more information about TRICARE Select and open season opportunities. Typically, we tell beneficiaries that you can go online through our web portal called Beneficiary Web Enrollment through Mill Connect. Uh, however, for those that are currently enrolled in TRICARE Select, and all you need to do is provide us payment information so your enrollment fees will be paid starting on 1 January 2021. BWE does not have the functionality to do that. So again, if all you need to do is to provide us payment information, please call the, your regional contractor and they will provide you information uh, and assist you and getting the allotment set up where feasible or any EFT or credit card uh, payment arrangement made. On the next slide is the uh, contact information for our uh, two regional contractors in the continental United States, in the East region, Humana Military, and in the West region, HealthNet Federal Services. You can go to their website, but again, if you're just providing fee payment information, it's best just to pick up the phone and call the toll-free number. We do have a U.S. Family Health Plan here in the United States. Uh, you can call them uh, in, they're in six areas of the United States as depicted on the slide. The U.S. Family Health Plan, however, for open season reasons, they only offer the TRICARE Prime benefit. So if you're enrolled in TRICARE Select, you wanna call the one of the two regional contractors, or if you're overseas, call the overseas contractor. But if you're enrolled in USFHP, or you live in the service areas that are depicted on the slide, you can contact them if you want to be enrolled in their version of the TRICARE Prime benefit. And then finally, the next slide is the Tractor Overseas Program. Our vendor is International SOS Government Services. They administer all the Tricare programs worldwide uh, uh, outside of the continental United States. Uh, and they have toll-free information as well as their website information listed on the slide. As I mentioned earlier, we are planning to send detailed information to every Group A retiree household announcing the information I'm covering today with you. Uh, you'll get a letter that's detailed information, and then uh, about uh, maybe uh, a month or so later, you'll then get a postcard announcing TRICARE open season, but your open season postcard will also uh, mention information regarding uh, the need to pay TRICARE Select Group A enrollment fees beginning on January 1, 2021. It's important for you to keep your information in the Defense Enrollment Eligibility Reporting System 
up to date. So it's commonly called DEERS and the Department of Defense and the contractors use that to determine eligibility and enrollment. But a very important aspect of the DEERS database is that we know how to get in contact with you. And so uh, in the last couple of years where the Department of Defense has been sending out letters and postcards to military families announcing TRICARE open season, we sometimes we get somewhere between 10 and 18 percent of the correspondents return because the post office says you're no longer where we think you are. So we would really appreciate your assistance in knowing where the contact information, your mailing address, your email address, if you'd like to give that to us, as well as phone numbers, homework or mobile that we can reach out to contact you to let you know of changes in your TRICARE benefits, as well as being able to reach out and contact you should there be a need to talk to you about uh, uh, any issues with the delivery of your benefits, such as with claims, et cetera. So there's a couple ways you can keep DEERS updated. One way is to go to the tricare.mil slash DEERS webpage. Uh, you can go to a military ID card office. You can log on to uh, Deers uh, um, a website called MilConnect, and the URL is listed on the slide. Or you can call the Defense Manpower or Data Center at the toll-free number listed on the slide. However, if you have concerns about your TRICARE enrollment, please do not call the Defense Manpower Data Center. They can only validate your eligibility information, any actions you may need to take regarding enrollment, disenrollment, or any understanding of what your TRICARE benefit is in terms of what's covered, not covered, those are all the responsibility of the TRICARE regional contractor, the two contractors here in the United States, the USFHP contractors, as well as the overseas contractors, the Department of Defense, uh, 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 has very strict guidelines that they are there to assist you with understanding what your healthcare benefits are and assisting with you to get enrolled in the plan that you're qualified for uh, that, uh, that meets your need, family's needs. So please, please keep DEERS updated. When you talk to the contractors, provide them all the updated information uh, they can update DEERS for you as well when you're talking to them on the line. And then finally, do keep up with the, the TRICARE news and information. Here on this slide, there's a, a, a couple of different web, web uh, addresses in terms of how to keep up with the latest and greatest in terms of what's going on with the TRICARE health benefit and specific instances. For example, here on the slide, uh, tricare.mil slash coronavirus will provide you information with the TRICARE benefit and how uh, the TRICARE uh, program has been adapted by the Department of Defense to help meet your needs and your family's needs in terms of uh, testing and treatment uh, uh, due to the COVID-19 virus. Another good uh, website to, to keep a, a look at is the tricare.mil slashes changes. That's general information on how things are changing in your tricare benefit structure. Uh, and then there's a couple of other ones concerning update news, as well as tricare publications. Tricare publications, if you have a question about how does tricare prime work, how does tricare select work, or any of the other types of health plan information that we have, the tricare.mil a slash publications page is a wealth of information. It is uh, validated TRICARE and military healthcare benefit information that's validated by the Department of Defense. So if you want to know exactly what uh, the benefit is, that is a good way to get your information. In general, any question you may have about your TRICARE or military healthcare benefits uh, you should go to tricare.mil. Finally, you can sign up for email updates. You don't have to wait to go, go, go to a link. 
uh, you can sign up for our email updates uh, to subscribe to that, and we will send you uh, notices periodically as things change or as we need to get the word out to you, our, our, our valued military beneficiaries. Uh, we are have, we do have a, a presence on Facebook as well as Twitter. Twitter, should you be so such social media inclined uh, to go along with us. And with that, Kathleen, I'd like to again thank Asthma for allowing uh, the Defense Health Agency uh, to reach out to the 1.2 million beneficiaries uh, that uh, need to hear this information. And with that, I'll turn it back to you. Thank you. And thank you so much for taking uh, time out of your day to be here with us and inform us all on this really important changes coming up. Um, we really, really appreciate this. And so for everyone listening, we're going to go ahead and break here for now. But please know that you can always reach out to us for assistance and more information. Um, you can get in touch with us by visiting AFMA.com. And um, if you want to take a last minute here to enter a question in the question bar on your screen, we'll, get, we'll review all those questions after this webinar airs, and we'll get back to you within a couple of business days. Um, as well, this weekend you'll receive a follow-up email with instructions on how to access a recording of this presentation, and you'll also have slides that go along with this presentation. So any of the links, any of the websites uh, that Mr. Ellis mentioned today, you can click on right through to those. And you can always register for future webinars and review past webinars at afma.com slash webinars. If you found this information useful, we encourage you to please share it with your friends and family. Our membership grows stronger every year because you introduce those and your milita military community to AFMA. Thank you again to, uh, to everyone listening. We appreciate you and we uh, look forward to assisting you in the future. <laughs>